All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is hard knocks night during the 2023 Knoxville Nationals. Welcome back to today's show. This is the night that nobody really wants to run, but we're also thankful that we have another opportunity and a second chance to lock in to Saturday's finale. Basically how all this works with this event, you have your two preliminary nights and after those, you accumulate points every time you're on track. They take the top 16 between the Wednesday and Thursday programs and lock them into the A-Main event. They also take the next 10 in points, so 26 total between the two and lock them into the B. So those guys are set for tomorrow. They do not compete tonight. And then everyone else runs today, which is hard knocks night uh, because they were 27th in points and back. And you basically throw away your previous showing. You run today and how you run today sets you up for tomorrow. So hopefully all that makes sense to you. The best word that I could use to describe today is cutthroat. We have a ton of cars in the pit area, a lot that have had speed all weekend and maybe things just didn't work out. And long story, Story short, we are all fighting for four spots, the top four in tonight's A main event, because they get a golden ticket into tomorrow's finale, and everyone else is going to be going home disappointed. Water truck just rolled by, surface looks extremely wet. As we roll through today's episode, we're going to be talking more about the format and what's going to be happening, but I wanted to walk you into the infield, talk about our draw, because with this many cars, it's important, you know, where we drew in and show you our pit spot. So we are pitted in the very back, along the back straightaway. Brought in all of our equipment, got the meal and the car. Being in this location in the infield means that we drew fairly late. Pulled an 82 pill, there's 77 cars tonight, and we are gonna be in the second flight. But your pit spot is where you drew, which like I said, being this far back means we were, we were late. Done well all of Knoxville Nationals, going out early, getting prime track conditions, and today we might just see a completely different surface that we need to time trial on. Anyway, gotta get after it. Can't let a pill jar or something like that affect your night. Simply is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it. It's all luck of the draw, and we just gotta focus in, have the pit meeting soon, get some engine heat, and really work on getting some good hot laps to try to find where our speed is at, where we can be better, and then go rip off a solid time in qualifying. night but we're gonna to try to stay optimistic you needed to be in the top 12 in your flight and we ended up 14th so they split us into two groups I think ours had like 37 ish cars and we just missed that top four invert went out late with that draw and I think the track fell off a little bit but you know guys were still laying down good enough times to put them in positions to be successful the first car Scott Baguski he was like a 15 5 and then from there I think it was like sevens eights and nines we ended up being a 16 0 so just a little bit off both my laps felt good I think I just didn't get off of too well both times it's almost like I got to the center and I get to the center really well the car like I can guide it into the corner got through three and four while doing the same thing but one and two where it's just a little slick off it's like I just lose the right rear and I'm down and I'm just driving I'm driving off of you know I'm driving away from the grip and I'm just losing time as my wheels pick up for a second and just don't move forward so yeah I'm, I'm pretty sure off of two is where we lost our time it's just so close and that sucks I mean it's 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 just that's the difference but all we can do now is go into a heat race uh, take it for what it's worth and just make our car a little bit better I don't think we're bad we're now gonna be in dirty air and another opportunity to work on that part of our program as well as that's been a little bit more difficult for us but like I said hard knocks tonight's off to a start we're gonna have a heat race soon so about to head out right now just finishing up the final preparations 
we start fifth year in this heat race, we have to run in the top three to transfer to tonight's A main event. Seems like the surface is actually maybe you know one of the best heat race tracks of the week. You can kind of work the bottom, but you have to hit it. The middle's popping up here and there, and then there's a solid top side that it's now finally building some moisture with. Gotta get going, gotta get through the first corner. That's our goal. Everything past that will fall into or you know fall in its own way. All right, here we go. Eight laps to distance, top three cars will move on. TK bringing them down to the white line. The green is in the air. Tim Katie leading the field into turn number two as they sort them out back in the pack. Down the back straightaway now. They'll work toward the third spot. Jamie Ball has it now. He'll look to the inside of Robbie Price for second. Jamie Ball working the low side in the Renz Motorsports credit number 4W. Good battle for the runner-up position now. Jamie Ball working the bottom, slides up across the nose of Robbie Price. He'll take the second spot. Robbie back to the inside. Can't get there. He'll hold the third position now as they race into turn number four. the line in sixth, but one of the cars that passed us jumped the start. You know, felt uh, right now we're kind of in this spot where it's not like we come in and I'm like, man, the car's just terrible. Like we're, we're, you know, awful. We need to throw a four bar change at it or, you know, tune every single shock, start making clicks and this and that. I just feel really in the middle. Um, not great by any means, but I don't feel bad. It's almost like we're kind of close throwing the dart at the board. We're just not near the center yet, but we're kind of dancing around it. So we've been making changes, just trying to get the card where it's you know better to drive, um, you know easier to drive, more controllable, and then also to where I kind of can maneuver between the lanes. Down in one and two, I really struggle to hit the bottom on exit, and down in three and four, it's not as bad, but there is more grip. And then when I'm running the top, like I made up ground on one of the cars in front of me, but I just feel like my right rear kind of has to be on top of the grip, like almost has to be on top of what you need to lean on to make stick and plug the car through the corner. Otherwise, I just uh, I don't feel like I'm going forward and I have more wheel spin than I need. Unfortunately, with that, we're going to be in a B, see where we uh, are going to start. And ah, man, it's just it's just intense. This this is the final night. Everyone's trying to get every little bit, and we just got to get a little bit closer here to try to give ourselves a shot to get in the feature.
like that's now the, the story of our weekend. Missed the, missed the transfer spot by one. Needed to run third, came home fourth. Made some changes from the heat race to try to be better, work on our balance, help me out a little bit. And I think we got closer, but something that's just killer with some of the changes we made and then what the outcome ended up being. Come in, immediately measure stagger, and our left rear shrunk one whole inch, which means we were, you know, had, had way more stagger left to right than what we needed. And at a place like this, it's starting to slow down. It's starting to get slick. I'm hearing some guys say this feels like a little bit of an old school Knoxville style where there's not a whole lot to lean on and the bottom's getting narrow. You, you gotta you gotta be killing stagger. So something like that really upset our car. And it just is mainly like when you get at the end of the straightaway, you know, the tires are up, you're going. And as I'm trying to hit my mark, it's just like the left rear scoots out from underneath me and it's not stable. And then it, you know, and when you, you know, lose that momentum, it's huge. So now we're just cleaning some things up. Uh, that was the main the main issue that all of a sudden we had our backs up against the wall you don't know that in the moment watching the car go around but you come in you're like oh that's not right uh, fell back to well no actually got a good start was supposed to start sixth started fifth got into fourth had a great start kind of worked through the middle little slider line got going good just tried to put myself in a position to run down the guys in front of me and be somewhere they weren't and I think we were okay just simply not good enough so watch this a try to learn more it sucks so bad that we're not in I just wanted that chance and that's the disappointment. The other thing I need to work on here and you know everyone would say this because it's the hardest thing to master in sprint car racing but just the bottom but not necessarily hitting it. I think the main issue and I shouldn't even say issue what you're just trying to figure out is throttle points. How much as the track slicks off how much throttle do you need and then where to find the point where your foot can almost rest at that certain location so you're not so on and off and the tires are moving directions, trying to stop, trying to move forward, jumping around, keeps the car stable. A couple times I did it and it's so much better. You just gotta figure it out, gotta keep smooth with the wheel, gotta stay calm and uh, and just hit it. So anyway, that's our hard knocks night. Just uh, ran fourth in the B and needed to be top three. Here is a look at the surface to end tonight. Racetrack ended up being pretty racy here for the Friday show. Have to say, being here for you know the first time racing, but also from a fan aspect, right? Friday is just so intense. And I kind of like it, you know, it'd be great to be locked in and getting to watch everyone else compete. But seeing, you know, four golden tickets, I call them, left, it was, a, it was a battle all night long and you could just feel it in the racing as guys were trying to make moves, trying to get every little bit to start farther up front in that A-Main event to try to have a good 25 laps and run in that, those, you know, top four spots. Overall, we just have to, uh, you know, we just have to be better with our car. And I think as we close things out, the word I would use is the little things, you know, little things things with the car, the little things with my driving, you know, a little here, a little there. At a place like Knoxville, that makes a big difference. As much as I've talked about, I don't think we're super far off, not super far off track, not far away from our target, but you know, just that little extra is so big at this place is you have to be on it every single time you're on track and you have to have that for the confidence of me of the driver, you know, being able to move around and do my job and then just to get, you know, our program rolling as a whole. So between our prelim and between tonight, you know, not not getting in either a main event and giving ourselves that shot that's disappointing that really does suck you know i think we're you know looking at our nationals as a whole we're rolling off i think they posted the lineups we're in the c main event tomorrow which you know i mean that that at this point now is what it is we'll just go out there and do our best but it sucks that our effort i feel like we had speed we we did some things right it just didn't all click together to where we could have had something way better and way closer to our goal of making the show and unfortunately that's just how it goes and you kind of just have to accept that and remember that this is the biggest sprint car race in the country and sometimes it goes your way and sometimes it doesn't anyway hard knocks night is now complete we were close you know just need to be a little bit better in qualifying that would have put us better in our heat race and might have you know kept us out of that position in the b and maybe we wouldn't even had to run a b uh, so like i said it's just the little things and we're going to continue to work on that and try to finish our our night out strong tomorrow overall i want to give a big huge shout out to shane dewald trucking rtr diesel performance champion car wash landon transport d-ray designs Veenendal truck Trucking, Full Send Racing, Carson, Next Gen, Lafarge, ABC Powder Coating, Pit Stop USA, Canopy Country, 
earth the environmental and fast for media without them we would not be here without my awesome crew Skyler Carly my mom and dad family and some help from John Agin spinning the wrenches we're all uh, we're all in this together we're all giving it 110 percent you know none of our, our you know little struggles we've had have been from a lack of effort we're right there and we're trying to do our best with our 18t family operation to run with the big dogs and as I've said I'm very blessed and thankful to be here and just happy that we have another opportunity to try some more things tomorrow and keep working on being better at Knoxville because I don't know if there's a, a tougher track in the country that I can think of or technical with the aspects as this place. I mean, check out this berm. It's wild running down here. Running the top ain't bad. It's not easy, but this, yeah, I think that says it all. We'll be back tomorrow, guys, to finish the finale of the 2023 Knoxville Nationals. We'll keep our heads down and keep digging. Deuces.